In today's video, we're going to start off by looking at what osmosis is, then cover exactly what we mean by water concentration, and finally, we'll see how all of these ideas apply to cells. First though, let's quickly recap what diffusion is. As we saw in a previous video, diffusion is just the net movement of particles from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. For example, when oxygen or glucose molecules diffuse down their concentration gradient into a cell. If you're not confident with diffusion already, then I definitely recommend watching the video on that before continuing on with this video. Now, moving on to osmosis. Osmosis is really just a special case of diffusion, and is specifically the diffusion of water molecules. The definition you need to know is that osmosis is the net movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration. The term water concentration can be a bit confusing, so let's just break down what it means. Basically, all we mean by water concentration is the amount of water as compared to the other molecules like sugars or salts that are dissolved in that water. And we call these dissolved molecules solutes. To see what I mean, let's take two beakers, each with the same amount of water in. And to make it easier to understand, we're going to represent the water as these blue particles. If we then add one particle of solute to the left beaker, and three particles of solute to the right beaker, then the beaker on the right will have a higher concentration of solutes than the one on the left, because it has more solute molecules. And this means that it must also have a lower concentration of water, because it has less water molecules per molecule of solute. Or if you're talking about the left beaker, you could say that it has a lower concentration of solutes and a higher concentration of water. Either way though, the key point to understand here is that it's not the volume of water, but the proportion of water compared to solutes that determines the concentration. So our left beaker here has a higher water concentration. The last thing we need to cover is how all of this applies to cells. So let's pretend that this is the inside of the cell, and this is the outside. And between them is the cell's partially permeable membrane. Inside our cell we have lots of water particles, and a fair few solute particles. And then outside we have almost pure water, with only a couple of solute particles. In this case, the outside of the cell has the higher water concentration, because there aren't many solutes. And so the inside of the cell has the lower water concentration. This difference in concentration means that water particles will diffuse from the outside of the cell down the concentration gradient into the cell. And it's this process of moving from a region of higher water concentration to a region of lower water concentration that we call osmosis. Hey everyone, Amadeus here. I just wanted to let you know that we also have a learning platform where you can watch all of our videos, practice what you've learned with questions, and keep track of all of your progress for both the sciences and maths. It's completely free, so if you haven't already, you can check it out by clicking on our logo here on the right. Or if you'd like to do the lesson for this particular video, we put the link to that in the description down below. We've also arranged all of the videos for this subject in a playlist for you here. That's all though, so hope you enjoy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.